Welcome everybody to uh, the first of its kind post-election audit summit. We're really pleased that you're all here. My name is Dan. Thank you. My name is Dan McRae. I'm president of the Florida Voters Coalition and privileged to be one of your host committee tonight. I want to start right off by introducing my colleagues so that as this goes along you know who to ask questions to or fruit at do whatever it is that you do <laughs> along the way um, and I'll enter and I'll introduce them and perhaps you'll uh, you'll you'll hold your, your your opinions until I finish all of them and then you can and then you can share them with us um, Mary Batcher from the American Statistical Association Pam Smith from Verified Voting Foundation. Yes, please stand and stay standing until I finish. John McCarthy from Verified Voting Foundation. Larry Norton from the Brennan Center. Mark Halverson and Laura Wolf from Citizens for Election Integrity Minnesota. And Susanna Goodman from Common Cause. We are your host committee and jolly pleased you're here. Now there's a, bit of method. We'll try. there's a bit of method to this madness, and I want to share a word or two about that with you. Um, while election audits are increasingly well recognized as uh, vital safeguards for our modern voting systems, a few states have adopted audit provisions. Uh, those that have may look to strengthen their current positions or, or provisions or change their current provisions. And many more states will be considering post-election audit provisions uh, in the near future. So where might we go uh, to consider what constitutes effective and efficient post-election audits? Um, officials from these few states now doing audits obviously offer important experience, uh, but their provisions differ pending federal legislation has a, a tiered approach, which may be different from some of those states as well. And there is a growing amount of expert consideration of audits from statisticians, computer scientists, and others. So obviously the problem is that current experience and authority on audits varies widely and is scattered across multiple sources. We saw the need to bring the experience together with the expert authority together with those states most likely to be considering new or amended audit provisions. So we're somewhat of an engineered mix here tonight. That's why this was invitation only. That and our limited resources. Uh, we've attempted to bring together the most experienced state and local officials with the best positioned experts and delegations from the states that are most ready to consider audits here in 2007 or in 2008 legislative sessions. We hope this is a dynamic gathering, uh, one that uh, can both uh, learn more about audits, where we can learn more about audits together, and also develop the science further. So it's not just about learning, it's about developing. We'll attempt to capture the essence of this event uh, onto our website, electionaudits.org, and uh, as a continuing resource, one where we can collect fresh experience and expertise as time goes by. So here we are. Um, I don't have the exact latest figures because this all these things are dynamic, don't you know? <laughs> because these things were changing up to the last minute. But we have, we have roughly, roughly 20 states represented. I think 18 or 20 by the time it was over. We have something approaching 10. I think it's eight or nine secretaries of state's uh, offices represented. Um, we have somewhere in the 12 to 15 range of local election officials represented. We have at least two state legislators, and I, I want to really commend state legislators who have bothered to get here. They're so important to this process. 
And yet we also know that they look at 975 things and are expected to stand up and say expert things about 975 things. And so it's hard for them to budget three days to come to Minneapolis and talk about one thing. So we're particularly glad they're here. Um, we have uh, several uh, federal officials. And this audit is designed to be primarily about the state's point of view and state audit uh, provisions. Um, but we're delighted that we have several federal officials that have to do with uh, uh, audits in one way or another and elections uh, represented here as well. Um, you will have noticed around the room certain pointy heads. We have several scientists of various persuasions. <laughs> Um, and they're terribly important. <coughs> Statisticians, auditors are here um, for some expert authority and, and others. Um, we're looking forward to thinking together, uh, hearing from each other, and further developing this uh, vital component of modern elections process. Um, I want to tell you just a little bit about what, sh you know, just preview just a, a, a touch of what's going to happen tomorrow morning. We'll take a careful look at the mechanics of the various pieces of post-election audits. Um, the definition, the scope of that definition, the purpose, different types of audits, uh, the unit selection process, the counting process, what to do with discrepancies, and the all-important resources of how much time, money, people it takes to conduct uh, effective and efficient audits. Then in the afternoon, we'll have the opportunity to discuss those pieces a bit further, kick them around, and particularly talk about how they fit together. On Saturday, we'll sort of report to ourselves. We'll try to identify the principles that we're developing here in this dynamic process amongst us. Um, and uh, we'll do so even though the specific approaches we know are different from state to state. Um, the principles, and perhaps we'll, we'll be able to develop some principles out of this process, uh, will be very important for us to try, to try to discuss on Saturday morning. And then the final panel, don't go away, the final panel on Saturday will finally get to the adult game, politics. And we'll hear from several people who have been in, in we've all been involved in these processes, but we'll We'll try to package this in a way that's interesting and useful and productive. Some people who have been involved in the processes in their state talk about what has worked and what hasn't worked and what uh, can work in the future. Because that's the whole point, is for us to get to the place where we can pass good, effective, meaningful, efficient state audit provisions. So again, welcome. And we are extremely glad you're here.